Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got another update for the 2020 Vision Project. Um, it's almost coming to an end because we're almost in 2020, but like, you, you guys should know by now. This is organized by Haley and Elizabeth who are Makeup Tips 102 and Cookie Pants on Instagram and also by Paula who is a beauty guru made me do it on both Instagram and YouTube. Um, okay, I'm gonna explain it one last time. Well, maybe one more for the finale. We've got 20 beauty products and 20 makeup products that we're trying to work on. And um, yeah, I'm still working. <laughs> so <laughs> for the beauty products, uh, I only have one product left that you guys know, and this is not gonna be finished by the end of the year. This is the Image Kin Care uh, Clear Cell Clarifying Pads. I'm working on them. Um, it's always so hard to actually show you guys what's in here, but I am like right here, so still about halfway. Um, it takes me forever because I cut them up in quarters and I use them like that, just on the spaces where I feel like I need them. And yeah, that is just how they're moving. So that means that like even if I use them twice or three times a week, it takes me more than one week to even go through one pad. And there is 60 pads in here. So I think I've still got about 30 left, which will probably get me through <laughs> pretty much another year. Let's see. Um, okay, that was the only beauty product that I have, so let's move on to the makeup products. Quickly gonna show you the ones that I haven't used this month, um, which most of them won't be a surprise. This is the Catrice Absolute Eye Color in Help I'm Stranded. I was trying to work on the brown, but my Panda palette took over and I didn't really focus on that one. Um, the NARS Albatross Highlighter, I <laughs> thought that I would be able to get to this at some point this year, but I wasn't. Um, I've used it a few times, but even today I forgot to use it. It's just a really nice kind of golden sheen and I'm really looking forward to starting to use this one next year though. Um, another one, this is the black Lancome color that has been in projects for a good while and that I always kind of forget about because I've got blacks in my Panda palette, but I've said this before, next year this is gonna end up in a proper palette on its own one way or another. I'm gonna make it happen next year, guys, I promise you. And if I do not do that, I will actually declutter it. Cause I think, I know some of you guys think I already should, but like, I don't mind having that black. So yeah, it's fine for now. And then lastly, the one that I didn't use either is the I Love Coconut and Cream Lip Balm. I'm still working on another lip balm at the moment. So I haven't really touched this at all this year and it is huge, but this is gonna be something I'm focusing on next year. So those are the four products I didn't use and then I still have five products that I did use at least a little bit. Um, one of them is the Gosh On Stage Lip Cool Lip Jam even. Um, this is a huge tube of lip gloss like it's pretty much as big as my hand and I've used this once or twice. So there is no actual progress to show you guys but it's been used so that's something right. Uh, and then also the Rimmel Apocalypse Lip Lacquer in Apocalyptic, the bright pink, which I really love this one actually. Um, I've used this a few times, but I'm at least certain that I wore this um, during Halloween because I had dressed up as a clown and the bright pink lips kind of suited the clown um, makeup quite well. So yeah, I've reapplied it a few times during that day and I might have used it once or twice at some other times as well, but also for this one, I cannot mark it because it's just black up here. I don't know where I am. Um, yeah. <laughs> God, I wish this would be a more interesting update for you guys. Um, this one though, the Da Vinci Deja Vu pigments. Um, I have used this one because this I took to the Netherlands with me as kind of my highlighter shades for my eye area because um, I was about to finish another one up and this is kind of nice and easy not too big to bring with me as well um, I just figured out that this is not a great brow bone highlight just because it is a little bit too glittery when it comes to that now let me see if I can give you a quick little swatch without throwing this all over the place <laughs> Okay, I don't know how well you guys will be able to see that, but it's at the top of my hand there and it is quite shiny and metallic-y and well, it's not full on the glitter, but on my brow bone, it's just a little bit too much. It's great for an inner corner and it would be great as a lid shade as well, but um, 
yeah, <laughs> I thought I could use this as my brow and highlight as well, and that's not gonna work, so that means that I probably won't make too much more progress on it this year, but I'm gonna try and use it a little bit more. I've at least experimented with it a little bit during the week that I was in the Netherlands to try and see how I could use this, but it's mainly been an inner corner highlight for the few times that I've used it. Um, then for blushes, this one I am using actively at the moment, um, and that's the e.l.f. blush in Joy. It's a mineral blush. And I was looking at kind of how it lined up with the little uh, marking that I made. It is below the marking, so I've made enough progress to kind of make that difference, but it's not far enough for me to be able to make a new marking because it would just create like one big stripe uh, at the back there. So this will be my main focus over the next month until the finale. And I'm uh, really looking forward to see if I can actually make a new marking because that was like kind of my goal I, that I told you guys during my last update for the end of the year. At least make sure I can make a new marking on this one because I'm never going to finish all of this uh, before the end of the year. But yeah, this is a main focus now. So I'm actually making proper progress on another product in here. Progress product. It's so hard. <laughs> um, and then another one that I made proper progress on as well is the Catrice lipstick in Lovely Rose. Um, this is all that I have left in that one, so there really isn't that much left anymore and I really made some nice progress on this one. I'm using this as a cream blush, so that kind of helps with making my cheeks a little bit more pink. And then I'm putting this one on top once I put my powder on my face. Um, but I'm also using this one on my lips and then I top it off with some other things because I feel like it's a little bit too metallic-y pink. But if I top it with some other things, it kind of works. I tone it down a little bit. So yeah, that's what I've been doing and I've been able to make some nice progress with it that way. So I have a feeling that like within the next two weeks or so I can actually finish this one off, which is pretty exciting. So yeah, that is it for that one. And those are all the products that I'm working on. Um, so kind of like I said, for next time, I hope this one will be finished and I hope I have a proper new marking on this one. But apart from that, I won't be able to finish any other products off, I don't think so. I don't know, this was not the most successful project ever because I've been working on these products for almost a year and a half and there is multiple products that I have barely touched, which is which is bad. <laughs> like, I I don't know why it's so hard for me. I feel these, these longer term projects are harder for me than the short term because there is no like clear deadline in sight. So I feel like, ah, no, I don't have to focus on these ones. I can just focus on these short term projects first and then the other stuff will come and then it never comes. So yeah, that, that is a bit of a shame, but eh, it's, that's life. I'm gonna probably just put them in other projects again next year and hopefully we can actually finish all of them off um, in 2020. So let's see. But yeah, that is it for today. Thank you guys very much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.